Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Apostle Elect Andre Fullwood coming with you with a B12 shot on this Tuesday evening. Amen. Amen. We give all glory, honor, and praise unto God. Amen. I know it's been a while since I've done a B12 and just wanted to share something that leaped in my spirit today. And it, it kind of uh, mirrors what I heard from Prophet Raphael some time ago. And um, his word was, Can you hear me through the noise? But this, what I want to say to you tonight is that, Can you see me through the stones? And where I'm, where I'm going from is Acts chapter 7, the end of chapter 7. And we know we're talking about um, when the apostles got together and they got the deacons together. And Stephen stood out because his, his name was synonymous with, within this, this subject title here. And we see that as, we, um, as they talk about it, it says Stephen was full of faith and power and signs and wonders followed him. And in the earlier, there's a lot of verses to chapter 7. And he goes back and he's standing before those who are who are coming after him, and he goes back through the Old Testament, he goes back from the days of um, Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob, and he's really telling the history of what transpired, and, and so, you know, when you speak truth from the Word of God, people do not like you. When you speak truth, people start to come up against you, and this is what happened to Stephen, and what I'm saying to you today is that when people are talking about you because you're speaking truth, do you still see Jesus in the midst of the stones? When the stones are being thrown at you, when you're being talked about like a dirty dog, and when, when they're lying on you, and they're spitting on you, and they're doing all these things, do you still see Jesus in the midst of the stones? We notice here in the scripture that the Bible does not say that Stephen Stephen stood firm. The Bible says Stephen stood firm. He did not retaliate, but he stood firm in what he believed. My question to you to this evening is that do you, do you stand firm in what you believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ? That regardless of who may come against you, who may come at you, that even no matter if the stones are small and they're little pebbles and you can flicker them off, or, or if they're big bricks and they're coming at you and they're injuring your knees and now you walk with a limp. What I'm going to say to you tonight is that do you still see Jesus? Because the Bible says that even when, when they were coming at him and they were throwing him out the city, he looked up and he saw Jesus. He saw the, the Bible says the heavens opened and he saw Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father. I want to encourage you tonight that look up. Oh, my God. Look up. Look up. Look up when the stones are coming at you. Do you, in the he, or do you see the heavens open up? Do you see Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father? And matter of fact, that Stephen had such a love for the people. My God. He said, he even said, forgive those who have done this. He said, forgive those who have done this. But when he looked up in stones, can you, can you look up? Can you still hold your head up high? Thank you, Jesus. Can you still hold your head up high when people are talking about you? Can you still see and believe what the word of God says in spite of? Do you, do you reflect back through the Psalms and, and pull out a recording of what David said when he was in trouble and he was in distress? I want to I wanna ask you today is that do you see Jesus in the midst of the stones? When they're throwing them at you, when they, even when your best friend is throwing a stone behind your back, do you still see see Jesus is your head still hung high or all of a sudden are you tucking your, your head between your tail and you're having a pity party I'm asking you tonight do you still see Jesus in the midst of the stones is your heart still right that you know that you're standing on the word of God and that regardless of what may come what your what your opposition may do your head is held high and you're hanging on to the word of God and your heart is so pure of the love of God you can even say God for everyone that throw a stone at me God forgive them for they know not what they do glory to God this is my B12 do you see Jesus in the midst of the stones <laughs> have you been talked about have you been lied on have you been despised Oh, let's start with the family first. Has it been your mother, your father, sister, brother? Has it been your husband, the ex-husband, the baby daddy, whoever it is? Can, can you still see Jesus? Don't get down on yourself in this holiday season. Don't, don't compromise during this holiday season. I know it gets hard sometimes and people are feeling like they're lonely, but Jesus is right there with you. In the midst of it all, you don't have to be around phony people. My God, you don't have to. You don't have to. God has given us brothers and sisters in the body of Christ whose doors are open wide for you. But in the midst of everything that's going on in your life, I want to encourage you. Look up and see Jesus. Look into the hills which come as my help. My help comes from the Lord. Oh, is God the lifter of your head. As a God, take your finger and lift my chin up, my God. That I can see you face to face. Glory to God. This is Apostle Elect Andre Fool coming with you with a B12 shot. Stay tuned. There's more coming. God bless.